about a quarter of the world's economic activity happens in this country. We've had a good run economically. We're the world's only superpower. But with that power has come an arrogance and, and a kind of stupidity when it comes to energy. A harsh reality that we have to face is that our economy is based on fossil fuels. This was a one-time gift uh, from God or from geology, and we're just burning them up like there's no tomorrow. The way we currently use energy is not sustainable. We just cannot continue to do this. We will soon run, run out of inexpensive oil. Energy is an input to everything we do, everything we produce, everything we consume, all our service industry. It's driven by energy, and energy prices are up, the price of everything is up. This is a liquid fuels problem. With oil being at least 40% of the world's energy, and we're running out of that, I shouldn't say running out, but it's being depleted rapidly. We really need to solve that one very quickly. China and India, two and a quarter billion people, twice what we have in the developed world, are growing up in their consumption habits. We're gonna to have to share. And if you think of the world as having finite resources, our share of the pie is gonna get smaller unless we fight for it. Why is it that societies go through these cycles where they grow too quickly, they inevitably run short of one or two critical resources, and then everyone acts surprised that there's a fracturing of the society? It's only in this last generation where we've reached six billion people with the kind of appetite we have for resources that we've come to recognize that human beings are the biggest agent of change on this planet. 99 scientists out of 100 will say, yes, there is climate change. Yes, we are seeing the effects already. Yes, we're going to see increasing environmental problems resulting from emissions of carbon into the air, which are mostly from fossil fuels. It's pretty clear business as usual will get us well into the range of dangerous effects on sea level, strengthening storms, stronger droughts. This is the generation that finally has to face responsibility.